Hey guys, Michael here from michaelsherlock.com. In this video, I just want to show you uh, a Twitter client that I've been using called Twitterific. It has this little icon here of a bird. And uh, let's just go ahead and launch it. So if you hear that noise, that is the noise of when you have a new tweet. Um, whether that be a reply or whether that be just something in your timeline. Now, I haven't been able to figure out where in this first version of Twitterific for iPad that you actually disable that sound because on the iPod version or the iPhone version, I know that you didn't have to keep it. So, here basically is the interface. So you have um, all the tweets here. And then you can reload the tweets, look about yourself, or write a tweet. And then you can click here and you can get your account information. So you could go to account, then you could edit your account. So if you wanted to change some of that information or clear the cached tweets, you could do that. And then you can also look at all tweets, mentions, direct messages, and favorites. And then you also have search here, so you could search for anything you want. And you can also look at trends. So happy Easter, um, working, must be following, etc. But what's also nice is it actually works in widescreen mode as well. So you get the same tweets here. We can reload them. And then you have your tweets, mentions, favorites, etc. So writing a tweet is really easy. You just, again, click here and you can start typing. So you can say, this is a test tweet. And I already walked you through um, text input on the iPad. So if you want more information about that, go to youtube.com slash the revived one. And then you can just go there. You can choose to shorten URLs, clear all text, send the message, or close. So I really like Twitterific. Again, my one gripe is this is a free app. Uh, for $4.99, you can get the paid app, and that would get rid of these advertisements that appear in line. But my one gripe is that I can't figure out how to turn off the sound. So obviously, I could just go and uh, turn off the volume here with the volume rocker. But it would be nice if I could just leave the volume on for everything else, and then just when I open up Twitterific, I don't have to deal with those bird chirps. Again, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.